there, kiddos. Today is an exciting day because you have learned how to write paragraphs and you've been learning how to change between paragraphs in your writing. We're going to start taking steps toward writing essays, which is the next step bigger and more complicated in your writing. And you're ready to do this. So I'll walk you through this one. But first, our topic today is what makes someone a hero because we're ending our heroic feats unit. And our learning target is I can write a short opinion essay. Really, it should be I can plan a short opinion essay because I'm gonna talk you through how an opinion essay works, but today the only piece you're going to have to do is the plan. In our next writing lesson, we are going to start working on the actual essay, but before you can do that, you have to have a plan. So today's target is I can plan a short opinion essay. Okay, so we just read a whole unit of stories about what makes someone a hero. Let me take you through the titles to remind you what we've read. You'll want to look back at all of these when you are writing your essay to find details to support your thinking. And also these give you ideas. So we started with a short article about who's a hero and about things that make someone a hero. This is probably a great place to start if you're going to write an essay about what makes someone a hero. We also read a story called Prince Charming Misplaces His Bride. This is an interesting story because you could argue that different characters are heroes in this story. Maybe the prince was the hero. He was certainly a main character. Maybe Ella was the hero. Or maybe even the butler was the hero. Depending on what you think makes someone a hero, you could argue different characters are a hero in this story. Next, we read about some real life heroes. We read about smoke jumpers in Smoke Jumpers to the Rescue. That was those firemen and women who would jump out of planes in parachutes to get to forest fires in places where they couldn't take fire trucks. After that, we read a play called Perseus and the Fall of Medusa. So you could think about what, what characteristics the hero of that story had. And then we read a story about some heroes in American history when we read the Battle of the Alamo. All of those stories will help you think about what makes someone a hero. Before you make your essay, we're going to do a plan. And this is the assignment that you're going to actually do today. I've already chosen the topic for you. Your topic is things that make someone a hero or what makes someone a hero. To write an essay, you're going to need at least three supporting ideas. So one thing that makes someone a hero, we're going to color code pink. A second thing that makes someone a hero will make green. And a third thing that makes someone a hero will use blue. I'm going to be really picky about the color coding because it's going to help you when we get to the actual essay. For our first one, we're going to use the colors to help us stay organized. It's also, I don't know, kind of pretty. <laughs> so after you have figured out your three supporting ideas today in this assignment, we will start working toward this. Now I'll talk you through it in this video just to give you a sneak peek, but don't stress. We're going to do it together. It's all going to be fine. So when you write an essay, it's kind of like a really large version of our paragraph sandwich. Remember the idea that a paragraph has a topic sentence, which is like the top piece of bread in a sandwich. And then it has at least three supporting details. That's the filling. And then the other piece of bread at the bottom is where you remind the reader about your topic sentence again. In an essay, you have your introduction paragraph here at the beginning. And then at the end, you have your conclusion paragraph at the end. So you've got two really big pieces of bread. 
in my color coding, I used yellow for that, and we'll talk about that in a moment. The filling of your essay are all those supporting details, but instead of each one getting a sentence, they each get a paragraph. So remember that pink sticky note? Here's my pink paragraph. That green sticky note idea, green paragraph. And blue sticky note idea, blue paragraph. Okay, remember, if I'm going too fast, we are gonna do this again. So just let it wash over you and we'll dig in again in the, in the next one. So when I begin, I start by telling my reader what topic we're going to learn about. I just wrote something like, there's many different things that make someone a hero, but all heroes have a few things in common. That sets me up to quickly tell my reader my three sticky note supporting ideas. Pink, green, and blue. Heroes are... Heroes also... Finally, heroes... You get the idea. I'm just listing them out. And this is like a map for my reader about where the essay is going to go. They know my, to my, my big topic, that's the yellow. And now they know, okay, in this essay, she's going to talk about these three things. Cool, I'm ready to learn. Now we actually dig into them in the same order that we introduced them in the beginning. So when you get to your, your pink idea, you're going to use your paragraph skills. Remember that paragraph sandwich? You've got your topic sentence about that pink idea. Three details, that's the stuff you'd get from those stories we looked at. And then reminding the reader about your topic at the end of the paragraph. You repeat that with your green idea and your blue idea. A neat trick for these is when you organize your ideas at the beginning, one, two, three, it's a good trick to make your strongest idea the last one. So like you start reading and here's a good idea. Oh, and here's an even better idea. And wow, this is a really great idea. So it like builds up and up and up, but that's advanced essay writing. It's okay if you're not there yet. Your last paragraph is where you go back to that yellow main idea and remind your reader what the main idea was. You're basically reminding them what they just learned. If you're feeling fancy, your last paragraph is the place where you can connect to real life. Why is this important for your reader to know? Why should they care? This is kind of like, I always think of it as the mic drop paragraph. Like you've been using a microphone to talk to them and tell them all these important things. And then at the end, you make it really cool and powerful, and then you drop the mic and walk away. So someday when you're ready, that's what we can do in this last one. But again, this is your first try. It's okay if we don't get quite that far in our first essay ever. All right, so now that you have a picture of where we're going, here's your assignment for today. It's just this. You've got your topic things that make someone a hero. Your job today is going to be to look back at these stories we read before and think about three things that make someone a hero. After you've done that, put your three things that make someone a hero in underneath these directions. Use that color coding, the pink and red, well, I had to use red for the text because there wasn't pink, but pink sticky note, green sticky note, blue sticky note. That's going to help you when we change over to the essay because we'll all have the same color code. That's all you've got to do today. Look back at those stories, think about three things that make someone a hero, and put them on this jam, color coding your thinking. Okay, if you have any questions or need help, we can work on this during our meeting. I look forward to seeing what you write and what you come up with and helping you get through writing your first, your first big essay like this. This is really exciting. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.